And I think in your late 20s, early 30s, that's when people start to recognize patterns in their life and they start, there's a discontent um, that can set in. And in, in my own case, I, I left uh, a, a boyfriend, uh, I, I left him and it was, that was the trigger for me to actually deal with uh, feelings that I had not visited uh, since I was a child about when my, uh, you know, my, my own, um, my, my mother had kind of sort of like, uh, what's the right word? It sort of kidnapped us, me and my sisters. And um, she, she'd, she'd gone through a breakdown. She'd had a breakdown when I was a child. And so she'd taken us away. Uh, and I didn't know this as a child. I thought my dad was in America because um, he used to go to America quite frequently. And then I basically found out that uh, he hadn't been in America. He'd been in our house and we'd, we'd been off somewhere else. And I, as a sort of seven-year-old child, I blamed myself for abandoning my father, which is utterly ridiculous. But I now understand, you know, what happened to me in that period and how I felt, you know, that I should have been there somehow, that I should, I left him alone. And then in this, when I was- You didn't know he was there, right? No, I didn't know he was there. Was my mo no, mother yeah, my mother him. had taken us away and, and we didn't know that he was at home. And I didn't sort of question it, you know, I was a child. Um, and yeah, and this feeling that I had somehow abandoned him and left him alone uh, in our, in our house, not knowing where we were was absolutely devastating for me. And I mean, I, I couldn't even talk about that my entire, you know, young adult life without probably wanting to cry. 